back to the vlog guys. I'm going to be sharing a day in the life today, just taking you along with us. I'm a mom of four. If you're new here, my name is Lynette. Uh, I'm also going to share a little bit of my skincare routine with you guys here right off the bat and kind of share a few things that I'm excited about. I am partnering with Tao Clean in this video and I'm thankful for that. They have the Ona Diamond Facial Care Brush System and I want to show you guys how it works. I have been loving it and I do have a discount code for you. It is Lynette60 for 60% 60 off of anything site-wide. I'll talk about this here as I kind of show you what I do. So I'm pretty picky with what I use on my skin, not gonna lie. I grew up not wearing makeup and I use minimal makeup now even. And it's very important to clean your face well. So I love this Ona Diamond brush. It helps remove dirt and dead skin cells and makeup residue that um, comes just by its spinning motion. It comes with four different heads. There's some for each different skin type, basically. So I use the Daily Care brush head the most. That's like the thing I use every day. And generally I'll actually do it in the shower at night when I'm showering because I, I just find it's easier to do there. So you can definitely do that. So I use some Beauty Counter facial cleanser on the brush head itself. Just a little bit goes a long way. And all you do is start on the side of your face just kind of roll it over the side of your cheek and it'll do the work for you. It's really easy and it really gets it clean. So I am honestly shocked sometimes at how much comes off because like I'll use a makeup remover wipe or even just, you know, a washcloth or whatever. And I go in and use this thing and there's still icky stuff on the brush head. So it literally gets it so clean. So it has two cleaning modes, a super clean and a sensitive clean. So when you're done using it, you just put it in the charging base and it'll light up with a blue light because it basically it cleans and dries your brush uh, in between uses. So the UVC rays in the charging base kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and that is just amazing to me. So check out the other different uh, brush heads as well and they all come with like a protective case that's perfect for travel or whatever. So I love this thing, highly recommend it. Also, if you're interested in any of the things that you see me show here, I'll try to have a link in the description box. I'm a consultant with Beauty Counter, and so I have uh, a link for that. I don't often talk about it, but I do love their products. And then also the Natural Hairspray, which is a small Etsy shop, and my veil. I will link the, the website for that if you are looking for head coverings. What are you telling her? Hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. All right. She's wearing my sister Erica's 
outfit that she gave her. So cute! Yeah! Hi, who's that? Who's that? Where is it? Aww. She literally giggled yesterday. A little bit. Right? Also wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who sent us stuff. I went to the P.O. box the other day and there were packages there. So thank you guys for doing that. I never expect anything from anyone and it just makes my day. So I really, really appreciate it. We should all take like a selfie. Yes. Okay, we're done. Okay, good, thank you. Oakland's eating some baked oatmeal very slowly and the boys are doing their daily chores that I've been getting them to do. Caden's cleaning the bathroom their bathroom and Jackson is dusting baseboards. I've been trying to get them to do something like every day. It's also Monday, so I've got a pile of laundry that I need to fold. It's thankfully clean, but we had taken the boat out last night actually. So we had a bunch of like towels and swim clothes and stuff. So I threw those in last night and dried them this morning then. So I don't know how much more I'll do at the moment. I usually like to do some every day, but I don't always. It definitely helps. It just feels like laundry is like this constant battle that <laughs> doesn't ever end. We're gonna go look at another house this morning. I'm trying to take you guys with us if we do. Uh, there's another house that I thought we were gonna go look at this morning. It was a bigger one, but it actually just went, it's, I think they're going under contract right now, Nick said. But it would have been out of our range anyway. It was just kind of like one of those like, oh, we should go look at it type of thing. It would have been like a dream house. It would have taken a lot of work. So the budget that we have wouldn't have really worked, but it would have been fun to go see. But anyway, there's another one that's like a possible contender. Location is maybe not where we'd like to be, but we want to go look at the house anyway. I think that's going to be around noon at this point is what he says. So. I'm going to be doing some other things this morning, Mama. just cleaning up Mama. and doing things, Mama. getting her dressed. My hair. Yeah, I'm learning how to do her hair. Don't judge. Here, turn around. It's like a side French braid that looks a little messy, but that's okay. You look cute, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, am not very good yet at doing hair, so I'm trying to practice in times when I'm not in a hurry, you know, like going to church or something where it matters. Cause then usually I'm like in a rush and I don't have time to mess with it. So I'm trying to practice once because their hair finally getting longer that I can actually do something with them, but they're pretty like light. Uh, they are really curly yet. So they're also cute hanging, but you know, it gets hot and stuff. And I personally do not like having hair around my neck and stuff so I always have them up obviously because of my veil and everything so I kind of assume like she probably doesn't like it either. <laughs> so dad just called me and said mom's cleaning at a house with a pool and the boys are allowed to swim in there usually when she does and so they're gonna swim for maybe an hour then we gotta leave. <laughs> Not sure where she is. She's cleaning this Airbnb. Yeah, your phone's ringing. Here, can you put it away? Here, I'll give you the spoons. Here's more. So it's 12.07, we're supposed to be at the showing right now, but the agent never confirmed the showing request until like 11.30 or something. And then she said, oh, that's too short notice. I guess it's occupied. So they, we rebooked it for 4.15 this afternoon. I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of dinner prep and have that ready to go so that when we get home, 
it'll be ready to grill. I think I'm gonna do kebabs. And I have some brats, actually. I have two packs of these. They're just the Bratwurst links. They're from Porter Road. I got some meat from them. They're an online company. And they're all like uh, pasture raised type things, like good quality meat, in other words. stuff in olive oil and then some seasonings before I put them on the skewers and then I'll put them on a tray and just kind of have them sitting in the fridge. All right, so these are ready to go. I found some shrimp in the freezer that I wanted to use up anyway, so I put those on some skewers. And I've got a couple of just brats, and then the rest I have mixed in with some veggies. These are just gonna go covered in the fridge, and then I'll get them out when they're ready to grill. So I did use the Traeger veggie rub, and also some garlic salt. This is basically a mixture of garlic and paprika from Traeger. We have the Traeger smoker, so. They sent some of these along, but that's all I put on these. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Nick and the boys went golfing this afternoon and they just got back. I actually thought they weren't going to, but here they are. What? Well, there he is. Any birdies? Uh, ours. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready to head out. Uh, my mom and dad are, I think, are joining us too, just to go look at it. So we've got the kids loaded up and get ready to head out the door. Tall ceilings. Not bad. Can't yeah, you could even partition it off if you really had to. Okay, so we like the house. Uh, it's not perfect. 
there's things that I would like to do differently. So I thought I'd put the clip in here. It's the next day and I had a little bit more information than I did yesterday. So as of last night, I hadn't really thought we'd put an offer in, but Nick put one in this morning. So we'll see. I don't know if we can come together on a price, agreeing on a price, but uh, we'll see what they say. And I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as I can at least. So yeah. In the meantime, we're gonna just wait and keep looking and see what happens, I guess. Nick it had to go do another showing and then he's golfing with actually Calvin, the one who was there um, at the showing. So I got the boys some dinner. <laughs> this is what often happens. I plan to make dinner or something and then in the meantime, plans change. So the kebabs I had made for tonight are not gonna get eaten because the boys are gonna go swim at Calvin and Melissa's house while the men are golfing. So I'll probably just save them for tomorrow night. Hopefully they'll still be okay. Or I can even do them for lunch tomorrow since we're probably just gonna be at home. I might do that. But I'll try to show them in the video. I can include the clip. That way you know how they turned out, right? I grabbed a coffee for Melissa and I got a Starbucks strawberry acai refresher. I think they're called. They're actually, it's pretty good. It's some of their stuff is not like sweet enough, but this one's pretty good. So I'm taking the girls home and we'll just chill at home. I haven't decided am I gonna go get the boys or if I'm just gonna let Nick get them when he's done. Okay, Harper needs a bath. I don't know if Oakland's gonna go in or not. She often does bath with her, but well, we'll see. So in case you're not familiar, this is the kids' bathroom. You like it? Joey, can you tell everyone what you just did? What'd you do? Did you pee in the potty? Yeah. Your very first time? Are you such a big girl? Yeah. I'm never really in a hurry to potty train. Uh, the boys were around three when they did. Caden literally kind of trained himself when I actually tried it and he never wore pull-ups or anything. Jackson was much the same but had a little bit harder of a time at night, but I just am a big advocate of not rushing it because I feel like there's so many times that I've heard that they like regress or you know, you have to try again later and things like that. And I know that all kids are different, so Oakland might be ready sooner than the boys, I don't know. Um, so if you see your kid is ready, go for it. Um, but for the boys, I was like, there's really no sense in trying to push it, plus I had two really close together, 15 months apart, so I wasn't in a huge hurry to try and go through that, but it was no sweat for Caden especially, and do whatever works for you, but yeah, that was what worked best for us. Yeah. Oh, oh, we did fine. You loved it, didn't you? Yes, you did. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and really quickly just give you guys a word of encouragement because I feel like you guys encourage me so much and I have friends that encourage me. I was talking to a friend the other night and she's one of those people who just is a natural like encourager I feel like. She ministers to people. So I just wanted to encourage you if you're going through a hard season right now. I feel like this season for me is really up and down. There's a lot of postpartum emotions and different things like that that you know are going on. But I have a lot of expectations and probably way too many expectations and I don't give myself enough grace and I don't give my family enough grace. But I know that I need to and I also wanna remind you what she reminded me of is that God loves you. God loves me. I, I don't feel worthy, but Jesus paid the price for our sins. He died on the cross for our sins so that we can have eternal life. And so if you're struggling with something today, just know that Jesus is there to carry you through and that he loves you and to reach out to someone if you are struggling with something. You're not alone. I think that's the biggest thing for me is that I realize that I am not I'm not crazy, <laughs> if I may say that. I am I'm not alone in this. It is normal to go through struggles and things like that, and I daily wanna strive to do better. 
and I know that it's a choice also. I can't dwell on these things, but to dwell on heavenly things, to dwell on things that are good and the blessings that I have, there's so many blessings and just count your blessings and look for little things that are day brighteners. That's something she told me, just, just look for little things. And I just wanna encourage you, I am so far from perfect. I struggle every day, literally. And I know that our life sometimes might look perfect, but it's not. Just know that you're not alone, that Jesus loves you, and that he cares for you. I had to stop to get Oakland out of the tub, but anyway. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for Tao Clean. If you're interested in that, use my discount code if you want to shop. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye.